we're going to do route four in this. So we're going to go up to the junction here and turn to our right. Just when you move off, cancel your indicator. Take the second exit at the roundabout, which is straight on. Where is the signal to the left to leave the roundabout? We're going to go up to the traffic lights and turn to our right this time. So where is the signal to the right? Uh, when you're changing lane, make sure you do the extra mirror checks in your blind spot check. slightly here from the line of cars on the left and we're going to be going right when we go up to the traffic lights. So mirrors and signal to the right a little further up would be time enough. So we stop here and again just being mindful of the, your surroundings here. The lanes here are quite narrow so if there's some wide vehicles you have to be careful. Now, center and right, mirror and right indicator here. So I'm going to move away, I'm going to have a look at my mirrors, I'm going to have a quick glance to the left, then I'm going to look to my direction of travel. Now I'm going to go up here to the Glacier Nights and I'm going left then towards the Ballymore Road. So centre and left, right and left indicator. Take a look into the road before you enter it. Take uh, the next road to the right here, just after the Vista. 
center and right where I'm right indicator. Slowing down in gear two. See a car coming in the distance here, so we just pace ourselves. Okay. So look into the road. Turn your car in. Now it's, sometimes you're asked to do a turn about here at the hill. Sometimes you're asked to go up and turn left, so we'll go up and turn left. So centre and left are an indicator to the left. Gear two. Check it safe. Going to put down the left hand side along here, and we do a turn about in the road here. So, again, as I said in the previous ones, there's a few key things you use take good observations, clutch control, high degree of clutch control, accurate use of the steering, using up the available road space, and giving way. So, gear one, look over your left and right shoulder, indicate quick at the steering, slow at the car. Look over your right shoulder and then your left before you reverse. Look out the back window if you're about halfway across the road, then turn your head and look for the curb. Gear one, use your handbrake if you think you'll roll, look to the left and move away steering to the right. So we've just gone up to the stop sign here, we're going right. Take the next road to the right. Complete stop here. So centre and right, mirror and right indicator. Nothing coming up in the opposite direction. Look into the road you're entering. the junction with the Ballymore Road, we're going to go to our right, so at the T-junction here we're going right. We're going to drive up to the roundabout and we're taking the first exit which is to the left. So centre and left rear and left indicator. Look into the road you're entering. Now we're taking the next road to 
to the right, so center and right, mirror and right indicator. That takes them to D1. Now we're going to put it on the left hand side when we pass this junction here, well, there's an obstruction there. So there's also an obstruction at the next one. So we want to slow down. Here too. So you may be asked to reverse around the corner at some of those junctions. There. is crossing so again it's something to watch out for as well the next junction here we're going left so mirrors and signal to the left and we'll get up to the next junction then we're going to be going to our right Back down with the hospital now. So there wasn't an opportunity to do the reverse around the corner at uh, D1, so we're going to get here to um, Lake Constitute. So we're taking the next road to the right, so mirrors and signal to the right. signaling our blind spot. Mirrors and signaling to come back. We're taking the next left turn, so mirrors and signal to the left. Now we're going to put down the left hand side here. I'll talk you through this. 
So then to reverse, look over your right shoulder, look over your left, look out your back window when you're reversing, your side mirror, and take a look to your right. Good all-round observations. Before you turn into the road, look over your right shoulder. Halfway around the bend, when you're about halfway around, take an additional look. If it's very busy, you need to check even more often. So good all-round observations all the time. If somebody comes along, you must stop and give way to them. So the key ingredients with this SR, doing the reverse, is a car coming there now, so I'll give way. Full look around before you move. If you stop for somebody, you must do a full look around. Show a high degree of touch control. Accurate use of the steering. And um, watching out for your point of turn. So make sure that you don't you know, go out too wide or you don't lift the curve. You keep reversing back to the examiner asks you to stop. So we'll come to a stop there. Now we're going to move away. So check your mirrors and blind spot to move off. To cancel the indicator mirrors and signal to the right at the junction here. We're going to take the next road to the left, so mirrors and signal to the left. So there's um, a range of different routes you can be taken on. They can be done, you know, overlap routes at times as well. So you just need to have a good geographical knowledge of the area and practice your driving on it to get yourself to a good position. Now we're taking the next right turn, so centre and right, mirror and right indicator. Taking the next left, so centre and left, mirror and left indicator, and it's a complete stop. So gear one. Going up to the next junction and turning to my right. This takes me out the Craddock Star Road again. We're going down now and taking the left here onto the Ballymore Road. So mirrors and signal to the left. And taking the next road to the right into Patrician Avenue. So mirrors and signal to the right. road to the left, some errors and signal to the left. So we're back out of the Kilcullen Road now. Drive up to the roundabout and take the third exit onto the ring road. So centre and right mirror, right indicator, but a block change down to gear two. appropriate for the speed and the speed limit. So again it's a little bit dependent on the car you're in. For instance my car here now can go along and use the gear at 50 to 50 km an hour, no problem. So when I reach the roundabout and take the 
second exit, and the second exit at this point is to the right. So make sure you look at the sign and shows the exit to the right. So mirror is the signal to the right. Now what you do, you just keep on the brake. When you're going slow enough, which will be under 30 kilometers, just come directly from 5 over to gear 2. Ease your clutch up, and if it's clear, then just continue. Centre and left mirror and indicate left, and look to your left blind spot to exit off. And then move on in gear 3. Um, the next round of match we're going to our right. So where is the signal to right? Pop to gear two. There is a ramp just before the roundabout here as well. So gain the gear and your clutch put up before you go over the ramp. Where is the signal to the left to leave? Taking the second exit, which is to the right. So this takes it to the test centre. So mirrors and signal to the right. Slowing down. Let's make it gear two. Centre and left mirror and signal left. So there's designated spaces there for an earner driver, so you park on one of those. So that concludes that route.